Welcome back to our St. Patrick's Day special. From New York City, there is the Chrysler Building. No, we're not in that building. We're over at the theater at Madison Square Garden. And we are ready for our next bout tonight. These are super middleweights. Let's get the call from Joe Antonacci. Boxing fans, this next bout is scheduled for four rounds of action in the super middleweight division. Our judges overseeing this bout are John McKay, Frank Lombardi, and Matt Ruggiero. And our referee for this bout will be Benji Estevez. Introducing first in the blue corner, he comes to us tonight from Fajardo, Puerto Rico. He weighed in at 163 pounds, black trunks, professional record, three victories, five defeats, two knockouts. Please welcome Willie Cruz Control. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner. He comes to us tonight from New York, New York. He weighed in at 160 and one half pounds, silver trunks, brown trim, perfect professional record, two victories, no defeats, two knockouts. Please welcome Peter Kid Chocolate Quillen. <laughs> Referee Benji Estevez with the instructions. Well, I couldn't have said it better. That's Benji Estevez, the third man in the ring, ready to get this one started. These are super middleweights scheduled for four rounds. They should heat it up quickly. There's a look at Willie Cruz, three and five with two KOs. And uh, he is ready to go, staring across the ring at Peter Quillen. Kid Chocolate, Quillen, 2-0 with two KOs. Says in the ring, I'm a boxer puncher. Says his best punch. He says the left hook to the body. He's naturally right-handed, but he has more power in that left hook. Will that benefit him, Mickey? I think it will benefit him fighting a righty. Or do you right. righty, you go to the body. Oh. Already stunned in this first round. Down to the canvas, almost knocked out Willie Cruz. A good right cross. And Willie Cruz visits the canvas, Ben Estevez, giving him the mandatory eight count, lets him go back. And Cruz better keep his hands up. If Kid Chocolate can punch, he has to keep his hands up at all times. He punches like he has chocolate in his hands. And he's got granite in his hands. <laughs> That's nothing to take for granted. Again, stunned is Cruz. That right hand. Attack. Cruz better keep his hands high. Estevez better stay close. If Cruz keeps his hands up high. That's when Kid Chalk is going to be down to the body with that left hook. Oh, yeah. Look at Cruz moving, too, wisely. He's been hit. Knocked down this round. Already stunned twice. Still early in this fight. Get on his bicycle. You got to let this fight mature a little bit. All of his wins by KO for Quillen. He's got the power. Trying to set up that right hand. What? Can Cruz withstand this? Good assault. Cruz has to use his leg, use his jab. Already he punching this. Yeah, yeah. He's, get, he's standing right there. He has to keep his hands moving, right? Right, he has to use that jab and get out of that corner. Get that jab pumping. Good left hook from Cruz. You know, with somebody like Cruz, he's gonna be all over you. Just put your hands out. He's coming. Good right hand from Cruz. Cruz. Stunned Quillen momentarily. Well, Sean, they say to beat a good body puncher is to hit him with a body punch, so maybe Cruz should, Cruz should try that. Well, this is just what, what Cruz needed. He needed a little cruising time. He needed to get his wits about him. Take some deep breaths. Move around a little bit. Shake out those cobwebs. You know, he can shake off those punches. Right now, I think he'll be a little bit more immune to them. His bodies will be used to it now. Yeah, but look at this assault. Big shots. No easy punches from Quillen. Quillen's heavy-handed. Both hands are heavy. 
Oh yeah, former New York City Golden Gloves champion. He was 13 and two in the amateurs, was Quillen. Started boxing at 16. Mom wanted him to go to the gym, and he did. He did his homework. Good first round for him. Trying to shake out the cobwebs. He'll need this minute. Break for Willie Cruz. There's a look into his corner. Antonio Otero over there, Mike Rella. They've got a lot of work to do. Right, they should put some water on his head, please. Oh, yeah. Try to shake out those cobwebs. Look at these shots. Nice work from Quillen. Starts off at the body, then he works to the head. Look at these combinations. Fast, crisp, hard. They are certainly debilitating. Look at this. On the attack, Quillen, a preponderance of punches in that first round. Here's a look at the second knockdown, and it was Quillen. All Boxing Peter in that first round. round he throws two. four or five. That's when he catches Round him. two, scheduled for four. Round two, coming up. Second round action. This one really heated up in that first round. Look at the look at the punches that Quillen threw. Peter just on the attack the whole round. It was Cruz that was hurt a couple of times, knocked down, and trying to pick it up where he left it off. Look at that. I think this fight won't make it through this round, Sean. Well, Cruz may still be wheezy from that knockdown in the first round. Those two knockdowns. You know, he was getting tagged a lot in that first round. Right, Quillen just seems so much stronger. Strong, heavy punches. Cruz, you know, sometimes there's no place to run. If you're Cruz, get your hands moving. Start throwing punches right now. Try to fight back. That's right, John. A good offense is a, a good defense is a good offense. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's over. It's over. Benji Estevez read the writing on the wall. And this one goes down as a second round knockout. Peter Quillen a little bit from Willie Cruz that he didn't want to stop the fight, but uh, Cruz was just taking too many punches. You know, in the first round, he was hurt by this man, Quillen. In the second round, he started off the second being hurt. Peter Quillen, good-looking young prospect. 13 and two as an amateur, bringing that experience into the professional ranks with him. Look at this aggression. Look at the focus from Peter Quillen. Just too many punches from him that landed on Cruz. And Cruz taking those shots, just trying to do what he can to Get out of the way of him. No offense from, from Cruz. And his defense was sus suspect, too. There's a big smile from Peter Quillen. He gets the victory and goes to 3-0 and with three KOs. Let's uh, get the call now from Joe Antonacci. Boxing fans, the time. 49 seconds of the second round. Referee Benji Estevez stops the contest. Your winner by technical knockout, now 3-0, and Peter Kid Chocolate Quillen. Well, he gets the knockout, 49 seconds of the second round, and Peter Quillen can now go and enjoy himself some chocolate. Uh, the fight's right. over. Yeah, no, uh, he doesn't have to make weight no more. Kid Chocolate, and uh, he had a really good showing. I like the aggression from him. You know, he's very aggressive. Uh, uh, I would like to see as this fight went on how it uh, how it changed. Let's go up to Tony Page to see what he's got to say. Thanks very much, son. Peter, you punch like a light heavyweight. Where you get this power from? Cuba, man. For all the pain and, and, and stuff I've been through, that's why I punch way. I punch way. Bad intention. I, I come to hit hard. That's every, what I do. Every punch look like a, a knockout shot behind yeah, you. Gotta, you got to hit with bad intention. Can't hit soft. This is not a soft game. This is a hard and heavy game, and that's what I come to do is to fight heavy. A couple of times he got you, but I don't think he felt the punch at all. No, nah, because, you know, I'm, I'm a hard guy. You got to hit me with a break to put me down. That's what it is. You're 3-0, and oh, three knockouts. What do you learn from a fight like this? I learn everything from Kyler Morgan. Put it in me to go up in here and take these guys out or box these guys, box the ears off these guys, and that's what I'm looking to do. When do you want to get back in the ring? Whenever they're ready. Next week. Next week. Tonight, put another joke up in here with me. I don't know if I'll be here next week, but uh, <laughs> he will be. Let's go down the ringside and Sean. Thank you, Tony. You know, he said, uh, talked about Colin Morgan, his trainer, giving a lot of uh, accolades to Colin, the world class trainer. He's trying to make a champion out of Peter Quillen. We'll see how his career develops.